Welcome back to the 2014 Grimmies. You thought we were done, but I found joshlee.com and wanted to uh, <laughs> see how we did with this year's awards. Um, this is our recap show. So, Josh, welcome to the Grimmies. How do you feel? Hi, I feel like I'm ready to judge you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally going to keep a tally of which award you approve of <laughs> and which award you disapprove of and keep it that vague. It's just going to be a yes or no question after we've talked through <laughs> all of our awards here. So okay, uh, we're going to walk through our 26 categories, which sounds daunting at, at the beginning, but we're going to, we'll, we'll take them. <laughs> what? You did 26 this year? So I went back, I went back and looked at our first year we did like six and then it jumped to like 14 and then it jumped to about 21 last year we did 40 what so, no we, no yes, way yes was i there for that no that was the eight hour show and yeah then, i didn't do that and then that's uh, why because you had 40 freaking categories <laughs> and then we trimmed that down to 26 this year i think i think 22 <laughs> a slim a svelte 26 it's only five it's like five a day plus the game of the year so i wanted to go i will i broke this into days this year so i think next year we'll do four a day and that might be a good number so i think next year that you should go for an award which is most awards we can do that actually the most the most award it's like let's have 100 categories so it for the good news is we're not doing forty, Josh. But I do need to talk to you about twenty six awards tonight. Okay. And all, all right, right. I'm what I'm looking for is uh, just your honest, you just your honest reaction because it's been a few days out since we recorded this. You've stayed willfully ignorant of what actually transpired. Yes. Um, but you are a trusted, horrible night staff member. That uh, okay. your opinions matter. Um, you won't change anything with your opinions, but we want to hear them, and might be a good, sure. a good take for uh, the audience that just doesn't want to listen to everything else, but just wants to listen to you speak. So. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start things off with the showstopper, which was probably a mistake on my part. Um, best digital butt kicked us oh, off. Oh boy! So okay. the our favorite assets to witness in 2014 on a game character okay um you know is this is the previous winners have been the likes of chris redfield and uh yeah. laura croft's hair has also won <laughs> right right so, dress effects and then congratulations um, so what we did was we had big nominations before the show whittled that down to two finalists and a winner uh i say that except for this one had three finalists because we couldn't decide. So here we go. Uh, so the finalists for best digital butt were digital Kevin Spacey from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Notice that we were too lazy to look up his actual character name. That'll come into play later. Um, <laughs> then we had Frau Angle, Angle? Frau Angle's messed up face from Wolfenstein The New Order. Okay, yes. Uh, yep. And then we have Randy Marsh from South Park, The Stick of Truth. What? <laughs> and uh, the winner of Best Digital Butt is Luigi's Death Stare from Mario Kart 8. <laughs> um, huh. General take. Is, are we missing okay. anything? Are we missing anything? Well, um... It's a very important oh category. Uh, yeah. Mm, I don't know. That's a, It's a tough one because it's kind of... It's a, it's a jokey kind yeah. of category it's like we want to so like, the, who, I was gonna, the most disappointing part was the first yeah. nominee was bayonetta i was like i don't think that person understood the the spirit of the award well like, but bayonetta yeah 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 that's not what we're, I, I was actually gonna give it to bayonetta's bayonetta's hair if that but, are you okay with luigi's death stare winning death stare was actually that was pretty great it was pretty uh transcendent that, that was pretty it was, yeah, sure. You know what? Sure. In a year where nothing really stood out to me as being like, oh, damn. Mm -hmm. We'll give it to something silly. I'm okay with it. Maybe if we had found Ethan Carter, he would have won. <laughs> uh, next up was the Best Brosif Award. This is a this is an award that's close to your heart. Um, yes. Because this is your war buddy. This is the, the character that is going to be there th for you always. So... Mm -hmm. It's your um, Frank or your Big Bo. 
Exactly. <laughs> we should just name. I should. It should be Big Bosif. Best <laughs> Best Bosif. Okay. <laughs> um, the finalists were Herc from Sun. That's not correct. Herc from Far Cry Four. <laughs> I had Sunset Overdrive written down there. Um, and then Iron Bull from Dragon Eggs Inquisition. Uh, okay. The winner was Fergus Reed. Fergus from Wolfenstein. The yeah. New yeah, for, yeah, okay. All right, Fergus. Good. You're, cool. yeah. you're going to be on board with a lot of these awards yeah. if you are a Fergus appreciator. Yeah, so. yeah. Fergus I had to write an apology. In, uh, in this award, I think I wrote an apology to people that picked Private Wyatt. So Fergus is awesome. And Whoops. So... <laughs> You've been on, on a lot of our original podcasts, and one of our unsaid rules was, you know, we're going to curse on the show. We're going to, you know, but the, are there some words we don't want to say? And we came up with a couple. Yes. I broke I broke that rule for Fergus because he delivers Whoa. one of my, he delivers like, did you beat Wolfenstein the New Order? Uh, actually, so I haven't beat it yet. Okay. Um, but I am really close, I think, to the end. Okay. So uh, I prefer I will not just say it spoiled if you can. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but okay. he has a great uh, moment with Blaskowitz of just mm-hmm. trying to motivate him, and uh, he says some very inspirational things. So it's okay. worth, it. it's right. worth watching. <laughs> I linked to it on the site, and I said it. I'm not going to say it on this podcast, but it was... Yeah, we broke a rule for Fergus. That's how important he is to us. So there were people that didn't pick Fergus, like. Come uh, no, he, there wasn't much of a fight. Fergus became kind of a hero of the show. So. Um, no, I mean in the game when while playing. Yeah, like. You know what I mean? I like, mean, there's a. He, he, Blasco kind of builds up the whole like all these kids are dying, man. Maybe you want to save one of the kids versus saving the old man. And. Uh, oh, I get it. There's definitely some guilt even after you. Don't, yeah, but. Yeah. Ah, come on. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah. There was there was no option in my mind because. Do you want to get the job done? <laughs> There's or do you want to be a Nancy? <laughs> uh, the other award I think that uh, you were had a big part in creating. I'll be interested in your reaction to this one, but we got we're on to best trucks. So this oh, is yeah. like the recreation vehicle of recreation vehicles. Yeah, right. Um, our. I already know you didn't pick mine, but our ahead. finalists were Spar- the Sparrow from Destiny, um, and Octodad from Octodad's Dadliest Catch, <laughs> and uh, the sure. winner uh, was actually a write-in nomination on the st- on the show itself was the Elephant from Far Cry Four. <laughs> that's but, funny, but well, no, no, incorrect. So that's no. all incorrect. What was the correct answer? The best truck. Uh-huh, of this the year. year was a truck. The Sand King XL <laughs> from GTA 5 oh, okay. on the next-gen consoles. I don't think we would have counted it. We were counting GTA 5 for best-looking game. Like, it was nominated there, but the gameplay itself was 20, 2013, so I don't know if it would have survived. I thought you were going to go with, like, spin tires. So, uh, No, although... That was cool, but that was I think that was also really a 2013 game, right? It was an early access thing that it just came yeah. out. Yeah. Well, in any case, I don't care. I spent right. a whole lot of time in a Sand King XL this <laughs> year, and <laughs> I didn't before. So and that's fair. But you said the whole category it's was wrong. Truck. Was there any other any other trucks that stood out? Oh no, not necessarily. It's okay. just that that truck, like everything else, is like, well, this is an actual truck. It's also my favorite vehicle ever in a game. <laughs> I mean, I I play a lot of mm-hmm. I play a lot of that game multiplayer kind of co-op, dicking around, whatever. And this is like an actual gigantic, like it's like a it's like a F three fifty kind of if it was a real truck. And I've got this. It's just like huge, gigantic tires on it, like tons of. I got a like, crazy horn, and I got all this bullshit. Like you can do a lot of modding of your cars, and this thing just—I I've ramped mountains in it. I've <laughs> raced. I've raced like hot import cars with it. I've killed a lot of people in it. Is <laughs> that that was the best truck of 2014? I can't argue with it. Have you broke the game with it yet, or have you broke uh, the truck? 
Wait, well, no, I haven't done, any, I haven't I, done I, anything I, that was so crazy that, I, like, the game flipped out. I feel like the best right. truck also has to have a moment where that you can't get that truck out because you... I mean, it, it is about taking the truck where it should not go, but it, it, yes. sh- but there should be an end-of-the-line type of moment, too. So, You um, know, that's the thing. I haven't found that yet because every time I push it to the limits, the truck comes through. <laughs> it always comes through. I'm like, there's no way it's going to get out of this thing. Oh, shit. We <laughs> took it to the top. We picked it up in the Chinook. So, dropped it off at the top of the tallest building in the whole city, and I drove it off. That's fantastic. And it landed, and it survived. And you hit the PS4 share button right then, didn't you? I actually did, yeah. Did you? <laughs> I have so I many videos erotic, saved. Okay. My hard drive is full because it's. I have so many videos saved. Of that. <laughs> uh, next up was best guns. So this is um, a gun, an item, a weapon, uh, your favorite tool of mm-hmm. games this year. Mm-hmm. Um the runners up were TNT Teddy from representing the guns of Sunset Overdrive, um, a yeah. rocket launcher that shoots explosive teddy bears. Um, the laser craft work from Wolfenstein: The New Order because that tool yeah. gets yeah. nuts. Um, that thing is sweet. And then um, the winner actually was the elephant from Far Cry Four. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you okay with elephant winning best guns? Um. You know what? Yes, because right. that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty rad. Yeah, <laughs> they elephants, they, elephants they had a lot of elephant stories, sweet. so sure. uh, and a lot of <laughs> a lot of push. From, I need to play some Far Cry Four. So um, that's a good game. One of our few new awards. This used to be the game against humanity, but I think it was starting to folk getting a little too negative for me. So we renamed it um, the video game ass video game of the year. Um, and which, or the most video game. I think that's what I'm going to actually end up calling it next year. But, um, so just, you know, those, those mindless moments where you're just enjoying playing a video game for it being a video game and the ones that stand Mm -hmm. out there. So the runners up are, uh, Far Cry 4 and Goat Simulator. And the winner was Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, I didn't play Sunset Overdrive, so it's, that's kind of hard for me to argue against. Um, um, is there something you would throw in there that isn't GTA? Oh boy, that's <laughs> tough. That's you, did you have any other? What were the other nominees you had? Uh, the, let me look that up real quick while you're. I didn't want to look at that just in case something gave something. Yeah, else. I appreciate. I uh, like we decide we're trying to figure out. <laughs> do you go in with all this information and slap us down from the nominations on, or? I mean, honestly, isn't Shadow of Mordor kind yeah. of fits in that category? I mean that's a that sys that and that was one of the best game systems, like new game systems introduced in it was a almost, long time. I think it's complexity almost holds it down in this category, but um, let's see. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I you okay, I understand. Earth Defense Force twenty twenty five did get nominated. Um, um yeah, th- and that was yeah, I had a really good time with that, but infamous second son was in there gods will be watching just for its dedication to being mm-hmm. a hard ass video game mm-hmm. uh, Bayonetta 2 and that's a video game ass video game <laughs> uh, <laughs> South, and then South Park was another oh Shadow Mordor did get nominated excuse me that was one of the first ones so it got in there but didn't didn't make the cut so okay since it overrides looks like that's it's, it's a fucking, you're gonna it's enjoy just, it it's was just because fun. it was one video game ass video game so it is. It's yeah. just fun to run around, and that's I don't know. That's a compliment in 2014, I think. So next sure. up is our old game of the year, ditching our 2013 game of 2014 type of scenario. This is just this is more of just a consensus. It was a weird kind of category. It's just like what did what old game just stuck with us this year? So we kind of took it from a consensus of the people that were there and um, stuff we've written about on the site. So uh, this might be one might be a little harder for you to judge, but anyway. Our finalists were The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Um, a couple guys finished that game this year. Uh, Borderlands 2, because that game never fucking dies. That's, no. <laughs> and the winner, not was, that good. the winner was Deus Ex Human Resolu- Revolution. <laughs> Human Resolution. <laughs> really? Wow. Multiple people like did completionist runs, and a couple That's people weird. checked it out for the first time. So That's weird. It came out of fucking nowhere. That wasn't even... It wasn't a nominee, so... Um, that was definitely what that was like. That was the I announced the winner, and Cole gave a holy shit after that because <laughs> he was part of the original <laughs> nomination crew there. 
Uh, we shot down Spelunky because I I was like that we played that so much more the year before. Yeah. Right. And Dark Souls was, was you're playing that because you were getting ready for Dark Souls too. <laughs> um, Towerfall should have made more of a case because we we said we claimed that as a 2013 game for the Ouya and we played a lot of that. Um, Rogue so Legacy. I've played a lot of that. Cow Rogue on Le- the couch. Yeah. Rogue Legacy and Warframe were considerations, and uh, Marvel Heroes actually got mentioned in this category. So, well, which was uh, that real actual winner? <laughs> oh, so we're actually with that, we're gonna go with a no. I'm okay with putting that as a no for Josh Lee. That's absolutely yeah. Right. That that game did so much this year as far as completely updating it for to make it newbie friendly. Added they added more content. They add a new character class once a month. What up, Chris? I forgot. So we're actually doing this live, and I hadn't been paying attention to chat, but Chris has come by and hates Dark Souls, and well, <laughs> not the Far Cry 4 fan. He's he. You're going to be upset later. Um, Spoilers. Okay. No, it just comes up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that takes us to our Not Entertained Award, which is our Underachiever of the Year, which we, this year kind of, Made focus, uh, laid focus on the gap between your original expectations and then where the final product actually landed. What, oh, like, where this is going. Yeah. So, um, our finalists were The Evil Within and Watch Dogs, and the winner was Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> which, which even uh, with that, with that gap d- description, there was a pretty big fight between Watch Dogs and Destiny because Watch Dogs was supposed to be that hey, next gen's fucking coming. Uh, that you know what? That's I'm glad I didn't have to make that argument. Um, but I thought about this a lot okay. <laughs> because th- those were the two things. But the thing is, I I um I didn't actually play Watch Dogs. I yeah. watched a lot of it. I watched yeah. a lot of video of people playing it. But I, there's a reason I didn't buy it. it. Was because everyone did a very good job of pointing out exactly why that game was not worth your money yeah. and wasn't what we thought it was going to be. And yeah, it was like, that was the, that was the great hope. For and it was like a gradual like, yeah. decline from that point, from that, from that great hope moment. So yeah, um, right. It was just, it, I, I think by the time it launched, I actually had somewhat tempered expectations because of those things. I think it definitely would lost to Destiny legitimately because Destiny, I was riding that hype train hard, real, real even, hard, all the way up until day, you know day one, even through beta, yeah, the alpha and the beta. Yeah. I, we were, we're the talking about especially. we're talking about at the very end of the beta, where mm-hmm. um, for those of us that played the alpha, we were playing kind of repeat content, and got, I got through everything, mm-hmm. and it's just kind of like in the back of your mind, you're like, you know. There's going to be like 15 or 20 planets, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. We both, we talked about this. You and I played this. We talked about how this could be a you know, just gigantic issue if but like surely surely not because they Yeah. It's bungee. Everything about that game. Yeah. I mean, I was surprised that you didn't fly your ship. <laughs> I was surprised that you just like that there was just the four planets and the one kind of small tower area it's like yep. no no way you know i just surely we're gonna do all this other shit no no that's it like the scope of that game the way it was advertised i cannot believe that it was just because it, the what it could have been the promise yeah. of it was really really grand and it is so it is so much fun to actually play that's some of the best shooting and i mean they, they really knocked out of the park with the just the moment to moment gameplay and I, th- I, act- I think I actually think the AI is like decent. I know some people. So when do you think this game is worth it, playing? Yeah. One year, two years, three years? I, I don't. I think it's Destiny Two. Okay. If they if they do that, I, there's yeah. no way they there's no way they don't know. Yeah. What everyone wanted out of this? Yep. Because they stole it a certain way. You don't like. I would. You don't, I still just want to know what fucking happened because it just still reeks of it got gutted at some point or they had to they had to make a turn to get it out the door because all that fucking grimoire grimoire shit just annoys the hell out of me like the story is there but it's that's so it's that's yeah that's really weird it's so light and sir like they they obviously crafted it just to 
kind of a pretty rich, crazy, detailed world. Like, a, it's a very unique kind mm-hmm. of sci-fi shit, and they don't you get just weird bits of that. I just the other day I was playing it and playing some co-op and we jump into a mission and there's like barely any intro, but the stuff they're talking about it's just it sounds like someone watching like Star Trek for the first time and they're just it's just techno babble. <laughs> you know like, what in the fuck are they talking about right now? They're just like making up words and like oh man that's Halo. Like there here comes the Halo. They're just they're making the names up for everyone's got a some kind of real fancy name for, you know, like oh this is the it's the tra- the traveler, is the you know like what now, is it they just completely blew it with it, all that stuff because no one cares about any of it. Yep. Yep. I, yeah. On that side, maybe I shouldn't have expected much from Bungie on the story side, but 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 anyway, I was I was actually. It was the first kind of fun debate we had on the show. Was the yeah. uh, a couple of guys were pulling for watch, watch Dogs and made a bigger argument than I expected. I thought Destiny would walk away with it. So, um, any other nominees that you would have considered? Oh, the for you? Well, just, well, I didn't. I, I actually don't think Evil Within belongs on that list. Okay. I think Evil Within is actually a pretty good game. It's a pretty good uh, Saw I think movie. It's fun. I, I think it's a. I think it's a really good Resident Evil Four game. Josh has your back. I, I mean, like. I, I mean, like. Dean has uh, your back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's. I don't That's know. Fair. Maybe it's because everyone just said like, "Oh, this is garbage." Just to completely ignore it, and then I'm playing it right now, and I think it's. I had unfair yeah, expectations really of that game, and just was not interested in great. playing it. At, playing it after I found out kind of what it was. Like I, I still wanted more survival horror than torture porn. Was kind of. Uh, my expectations there, but. I guess, but it's, I mean, some of that, I don't know, I, some of that stuff I give a pass just because it's like a, some of it's just like an art, cultural, artistic kind of thing, like where you go like, oh, it's, it's Mikami or whatever, mm-hmm. and you just go, okay, that's, I'm getting the vision here, but um, but it feels so much like Resident Evil 4 to me, like, every, like just moment to moment, I'm like, I'm playing that game again, or mm-hmm. a sequel to that game is how it feels, and I like the weird Twin Peaks, Deadly Premonition kind of weird shit that goes on, oh, nice. and it's, um, yeah, it's 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 Silent Hill and Twin Peaks, all that stuff, kind of all together. Uh, I think actually is pretty decent. So I wouldn't right. have had that on the. I don't have anything to add to the list. But okay. I got something to pull off. Okay, that's fair. But we're still putting you for a yes for agreeing for Destiny. So mm-hmm. um, resounding, actually. Yeah. Next up is the More of These Award, which is funny, uh, is becoming my one of my more cloudy awards because this is our middle tier game of the year. This is what back established when there was a clear difference between like studio side projects and their triple a mm-hmm. game. So, um, but it's getting harder to do this, but, uh, we'll, we'll yeah, keep yeah. advancing it. Our, uh, finalists were captain toad treasure tracker, um, <laughs> and sticks master of shadows. And then, um, uh, our winner act was valiant hearts, the great war. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, Let's see. Some like, of the I, other. I, I actually haven't played that, so I again, that's another one where it's I. It's really good. It surprised against me. a lot. Yeah, everybody seems to. Think it's actually it's fun to play. Fantastic. It's actually it's it's got a brisk pace to it. So um, and it's all. I think it's. I I kind of said like this is the style of adventure game I'd like Telltale to give a try. Like like try to mix it up, mm-hmm. and it's a mm-hmm. really good adventure game. Um, um, Legend of Grimrock Two was nominated. Strider. Uh, Earth Defense Force, Hyrule Warriors, yeah. Lords of the Fallen. Those were the other contenders there. Yeah, those are kind of, I don't know, those are kind of weird. Yeah. You know what I, so, can I say, I, this might not be the place for this, but um, I spent, I, I, it may come up again, but I spent a, like a lot of time this holiday season playing Drawful on the Jackbox oh, sure. Party Pack. Sure. And I would like to say, I would have definitely probably pushed for this for myself. I, I would like to, to see. Get, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'd like to see Jack the Jackbox maybe have gotten mentioned in another category. So that's interesting. So, so I I think that was, I mean, it was it's just like really well done kind of package, awesome value and all that. But the idea that here's a game, here's like these are bo- those are board games, you know, that's really what they are: board games, card games. Those are tabletop mm-hmm. things, like family, you know, like Trio Pursuit. Uh, uh, you know those. I don't know. Like uh, the, you would find this on the shelf at Walmart, and they somehow figured out a way. I don't know why no one else has done this, at least that I know of. Made it so that like you drop it on the TV, 
and everyone can use a phone as their controller. Yep. It works. It works. Like mm-hmm. I, we had, didn't really have hardly hardly any problems any of the times that we've tried it with everyone random ass like weird yeah. phones and tablets and shit. And then then you've got your uh, you know they took advantage of it by doing things you couldn't do with a standard game with controllers like you oh you have your own private screen so therefore you can do something without anyone else seeing it and taking advantage of that. I think that's I want to see more games use. Use your mobile devices yep. as your controllers and and take the, the that fun experience at the table and put it in the living room. Yep, yep. I couldn't agree more. Um, more of those, please. Along those lines, I, I'm actually surprised Sports Friends didn't come up in this category, too. Um, just as a different well, We kind of have more of those already, though, you know? That's, <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, you okay with our winner? Or... Um, y- yeah, sure. I, I like the idea of that game, even if I haven't yep. played it. Uh, cool. That, those kinds of games, especially out of, it came out of Ubisoft, right? Yeah, yeah. It's got, well, we've got this Ubi Art engine. We should probably like use it for other stuff that's not Rayman. So yeah, let's, and let's, like, okay, let's make Child of Light and Valiant let's make, an R- okay. let's make an RPG and adventure game. Go. Yep, I'm okay with that. All right. Next up is the quick, Quickie Awards, the uh, game you go to when you only have like ten minutes. So, mm. uh, finalists were Hearthstone. I don't know if you've heard of that game. Uh, and mm-hmm. threes, threes. Sorry, exclamation point. Yeah. When it was Crossy Road. Crossy yeah. Road. Crossy Damn. Road. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. 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 I would. T- I would also pick Crossy Road. Crossy Road's pretty fantastic. Any other recommendations? It's too there? bad that that you have to swipe to move left and right. That's just yeah. Awesome. It's a little. It's a little. But they fucking. They, hey, you were there when Frogger crashed and burned in front of us. Like when we. Like, <laughs> oh man, that game was so bad. When we realized like, maybe oh, maybe Frogger's sweet not a good Konami game. themes. <laughs> Like, look, there's like Bill and Lance, and they're <laughs> shooting spread guns. Like, and you're just crossing a road. That's just, you can't save that game by fan service. So that <laughs> DX, whatever, was shit. Um, yeah, uh, there's nothing on my personal list okay. that I would say was a like a quickie kind of thing. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say Crossy Road is probably that's yeah, probably it. Yeah. That's good. That's your smart man. Three, not not to not to fault threes because threes had its had its day too. So sure, but threes is also boring as shit. Like it sounds let's cool. Call, let's calm that, down yeah, with gonna... that that amount of negativity. Let's cool. Let's do some math. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll, Actually, play, yeah, I'll think, probably just play math. I think that was instead. Coop's argument. He's like, I don't want to relax and do math. <laughs> uh, yeah, what? Well, yeah, like when I'm I, like if I'm already grunting during my ten minutes of gaming, like I don't need also to be like, stringing <laughs> my brain. Well played. It's the most subtle poop joke ever on the history of all of our podcasts. So, <laughs> I'm moving on to the BFG award. This is our overachiever of the year, so keep that gap in mind. It's just mm-hmm. the other way. Uh, the finalists were Wolfenstein The New Order and Alien Isolation. And the winner was South Park The Stick of Truth. Oh, boy. Um, arguments for South Park rendered around, focused around that game almost probably shouldn't have come out after Ubisoft bought it from THQ and kept delaying it and Mount, Matt and Trey probably never stopping tweaking it and if it did come out it probably was going to be broken and unfinished and yes, that is yeah. one dense complete video game everyone like everyone wins when we have Good, like good choices in this category because mm-hmm. it's meant that there were some sweet gains that weren't gonna didn't look so sweet maybe before, but I I would hear arguments about Wolfenstein because Wolfenstein was way 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 better than <laughs> it had any right to be. <laughs> yep, I cannot believe how much I gave a shit about BJ Blazkowicz. <laughs> I know it's William. No it's William way. <laughs> be the beach. I can't I like believe it. that in this conversation that the f- I almost want to pitch Wolfenstein winning now based on the fact that it has the most well done sex scene in all of video games. Oh god. Oh man, I mean it was that was really romantic. <laughs> I I'm I mean I was like I I was almost I would blushed <laughs> I almost cried a little bit, and I was slightly 
you know, I turned on a little bit. <laughs> Very well done. Extremely. Like, um, yeah, uh, Mass Effect team, take take notice here of this. Yes. I I, I thought that game, uh, sure. the game is really, really, really good. But um, also, man, you could argue Shadow of Mordor. That game. So, yeah, I was tr- that, I was struggling to find out what the expectations were before, but that, yeah, that's fair. Like, it's just like nobody was talking about it, really. It was just kind of like, eh, you know, like Batman Combat. Yeah, it, it was sure, sure. Like, oh, this Batman Combat. Nemesis yeah, system, who the fuck be, knows if that's going to work. <laughs> and, um, man, that was fun. Okay, I'm going to put you down for just, a no for was, this one. South Park, it's, does it get some love for you? Did you think it was going to be oh, bad? Oh no, absolutely! You know, yeah. South Park's cool, um, and I need to I need to go back and finish it. But I, um, it, yeah, it's great. Um, I also don't have like a super deep love for South Park. Sure. Oh I yeah. Appreciate I appreciate it. Yeah. I, you know, I appreciate what it is, but um, so that's probably kind of buys into. I it, think with Wolf- I picked Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, we basically said like there really hasn't been a terrible game. They've all just been kind of okay and forgettable but it didn't it hadn't bought them out like every other south park game's been all, god awful yeah but um, what were the things you liked about the wolfenstein games uh it wasn't the characters right, right. yeah no totally, <laughs> the totally. Writing, it wasn't like, the writing and, and the performances yeah um and then alien was just the focus on the atmosphere and just how over over the how far they went into just trying to recreate the atmosphere of the, of the original movie so sure um, so that is, we're actually on to day three of our awards here. Uh, this is when the f bomb started flying because we were <laughs> moved on to the Fuck Me Award. Uh, this is the, the, <laughs> the challenging game that you enjoyed playing, even though it beat the shit out of you. So, oh God. This was, this was contentious. Uh, finalists were oh, Wayward God. Souls, which is a iOS game, so I don't know if you played that, but Dark Souls, good controls on touchscreen. Um, no such thing, but okay. Banished, uh, which is a town building game with that has really harsh rules. Ethan and Jason, yeah, huge yeah, fans yeah. of it. So, mm-hmm. um, and then the winner was Alien Isolation. Okay, um, let's look at these other nominees because I'm trying to remember I'm, myself. Well, let me let me okay. go ahead and throw one in Shovel Knight. Sure. Some people might but, not have found it that difficult. Mm-hmm. I did. I thought <laughs> it was like super tough. I had, there were just, it was, to me, it was NES hard. Yeah. But it had, it's like, but it also was super it's, fair. Yep. Super fair because those controls were tight. Mm-hmm. And it was like, it was, and you know, it's funny. I, um, a lot of that game is, it's Mega Man level design a lot of times meets DuckTales. Yeah. Because you're constantly doing that bounce thing, and I actually also played Ducktales. It's recently a science quest. The NES. It's, uh, every and, time I was uh, in the town, that, yeah. Um, having played recently the uh, Ducktales um, after Shadow or Shovel Knight, I thought I'm like, oh god, this the, wow, Shovel Knight's so much tighter than <laughs> this. I guess. Um, yeah, that would, that made it. To, ah, yeah, that was one of the far final cuts. So, mm-hmm. um, and then. Um, Gods will be watching would have won if that game was fun to play. Um, <laughs> sure. Um, Thousand One Spikes was more forgettable than I anticipated. Um, okay. So there was some argument for Hearthstone, but we shut that out as far as like just multiplayer stuff not really counting. <laughs> so, uh, but how do you feel about Alien Isolation winning? You put Shovel Knight at the top. Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm okay with that actually because. Yeah. That seems like a. I don't know. I like. I want to reward that yeah. design choice yeah. there. I think that's fucking awesome. Uh, here is one of your creations, Mister Dave Award for best new character. Mm-hmm. Uh, so our finalists were douchebag, or yourself uh, from South Park, the Stick of Truth, um, Bloody Mary from The Wolf Among Us, and the winner was Fergus from Wolfenstein. God, I love Fergus. <laughs> Fergus is cool. Any other standouts that we miss? Or um, I don't know. I mean, I like a good. Oh gosh. Um, I was trying to think. Pagan men was thrown there, out. I wish okay. there had been more of the dwarf in Shadow of Mordor. You liked him. I couldn't stand him. Um, I think he could have turned into, like, they could have turned that around. They, it, that could have mm-hmm. ended up being like. 
oh, he's kind of annoying, and then you're like, okay, I, I kind of respect him. I think and they then, ran like, out of turn into. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. They ran out of yeah. time for the story in that game. That's got to be yes. the only. Absolutely. There's only 20 story missions, and and there, you will beat that game without if you, on accident. But um, yeah. So that was kind of cool. That game had I, I like Kara Brimborn that too. That was kind of neat. Again, like could have been fleshed out more. Um, huh. Oh man, Fergus is. Iron Bowl got shut it's out of this good. one, mainly because none of us got far enough in Dragon Age to see the arc of his character. Like it was just. Um, I yeah. think he had a better chance in this than Brosov, actually. Uh, he... Ooh, what a, does Pagan Man get? He got nominated. Of screen time? I, no, apparently, I think he's just the Handsome Jack over the radio, but better than Handsome Jack. Was the consensus. That, that uh, early on, that that character is pretty cool. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. Uh, For new characters, I don't have any. Did you play Jazz Punk? No. Okay. I tried to get that hobo from Jazz Punk to win. Um, Blasco got some. Blasco and the Frau from Wolfenstein got some nods there. Professor Rapitsky from Super Time Force. Did you play some Super Time Force? No. Um, he's ridiculous. Um, I tried to actually push for the, your nemesis in Shadow of Mordor, but apparently I had the ultimate nemesis moments that nobody else cared. So. Yeah, I had some good ones. Oh, man. I actually really liked Ratbag. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we forgot him completely. Like, I. I get him not winning, but or being a yeah, finalist, right, sure, sure. But on the list, you for have some to re- put him on. Yeah, when I thought about Mordor, not I just really well. I always went back to how much I didn't like the dwarf. So I think I just completely forgot about Ratbag because that happens after the Ratbag stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. they didn't. That, that's a they didn't tragic do, story. Arc. They didn't conclude <laughs> Ratbag well. Then they they could have, but yeah, <laughs> I thought it was super fitting, super super fitting for what that character really was. <laughs> yeah. Like they did the thing that you do in stories like that, and then they just did what they did. You know, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's yep, <laughs> that's exactly how it should have been done. Did um, you play The Wolf Among Us? No, okay. I don't play those Telltale games. Yeah, no, you know how I feel about. I, I would watch them if someone in my house played them. You could watch. I would mine. totally watch. <laughs> you watch I did, YouTube you know, I, I watched you play uh, Walking Dead a, yeah. uh, a bunch, and that was fine, but. Um, yeah, she's I a good really, villain. Liked, she's a good villain. I liked uh, I, I liked some of the characters in Second Son. I, um, not don't say the brother. Don't say the brother. The brother was awful, oh, but I, I actually really liked the main character and the 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 what's her name? The shit, I forgot her name. She's the evil uh, bad guy in that. Was she was bad? Yeah, that was kind of a cool character. Anyways, I guess I like the bad guys this year. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Bloody Mary was a villain in Wolf Among Us that stood out for me. And then um, okay. the guys are really pushing for, apparently there's a moment with your character towards the end of South Park that that's why they're fighting for Douchebag. But I assume okay. you're completely fine with Fergus taking this. Oh, absolutely. Right. Seriously, why would you pick Wyatt? It should be a hashtag. Why Wyatt? The Comeback Award. So this is the kind of the franchise-saving game. Um the mm. finalists here were South Park, The Sick of Truth, and Dragon Age Inquisition. And the winner was Alien Isolation. Can you... Oh, boy, that's... Oh, gosh. What, what were the rules here? Because uh, fran- the, when I hear franchise... Best remake or like update or... Best remake, update, or series-saving sequel. So keep in mind where the series... The IP, series, IP. Well, yeah, IP works. IP works, too. Okay. Okay. What are you trying to argue for? No, I, I. It just like it's just such a like it, Alien Isolation. It just has nothing to do with any of sure. the previous games okay. that use that IP. Would be my only kind of argument there. But um, I don't know. Game I mean, again, starring I, xenomorphs. <laughs> that was my my argument. Um, mm. let's see other nominees. I tried to push for Diablo three to get into the finals. Reaper of Souls just because it. The, all the updates they've made made me play that game a ton this year. Um, Adventure mode and and I, boy, I played a decent amount of that on the console. Yep. Yeah. That plays really well on PS4. And then um, a lot of the other yeah, games like sure. Far Cry and Call of Duty and Mario Kart. It was the, well, the the series wasn't really down that much. So, no. no. Um, the only thing that was maybe a surprise was, um, as far as like 
series that already existed was probably Wolfenstein. Yeah. But I've already I'm I I don't want to sit here and act sound like I'm just gushing over it. But again, like that was a I didn't give a shit about that series. So out of anymore. the out of the three, would you of Alien, Dragon Age, and South Park, would you have gone with Alien? Yeah, if we're going by if we're going IP, Alien, absolutely, okay. because. <laughs> when was the last time I enjoyed an alien game? Infestation yeah. on the DS, probably. <laughs> I can believe that. Well. AVP two. So, uh, yeah. ne- next up is the Tingle Award for worst character. Um, Ooh. so finalists were Beauty and Beast from The Wolf Among Us. Uh, that was the one I was I was most riled up about. Mm-hmm. Um, Ghost from Destiny was a finalist. The winner actually was the narrator from Valiant Hearts, The Great War. And the explanation I gave is, you remember the old Eminem video like where he's with Dre and they're doing like the split personality thing and they do these little <laughs> skits? You know what I'm talking about? I forget the name yes. of the song. <laughs> right. And in between all of those skits is, a, is an announcer that like sets up the like sets up whatever going on in the story that voice is what's in this game as the narrator in between scenes and it is like he sounds like he should be in music videos or trailers not tying together my world war one heart-wrenching story oh that's pretty bad it was pretty it was like the one misstep that game has um so um Ooh. a lot of a couple of guys that played the game were riled up about it too so um and I don't know. I was I was like Ghost got a lot of shit this year. I was indifferent to the performance because it the character was like a non character to me. So, um, you know, had they not put all those uh, you know the filters on his voice, yeah, to try to it would have made it worse. Yeah, <laughs> once they added that stuff in, it was like okay, I kind of see what he's going for. Maybe they did that and played it back to him and was like do you know keep it flat. Um. I don't think that was a great performance by any stretch, but there it has he has his moments. Let's see what yeah. the other nominees were. I don't know. Um, the brother and in infamous. You already brought it up. Yes, I hated he him was a lot. Good, really good. didn't like it. Uh, your your friends and Johann Sebastian Joust were nominated. Um, let's see, the Crypt Dark from Destiny was nominated. Mm. And I think you may have seen this video though. Buffkin from The Wolf Among Us was nominated. Yeah, Buffkin seemed pretty annoying. <laughs> Uh, Aiden from Watch Dogs, but we decided he has no character, so he's not a bad character. <laughs> um, I thought that was funny. There, there weren't a lot of... No. Ichabod Crane from the... I mean, we got some other wolf among us that you... I'm trying to think of anybody from Dragon Age I didn't like that much, they but were there's all, no one I hated I don't like that Vi- I don't like Vivian in that game at all. Yeah. Uh, mainly because I tried to... You know, I tried to score with oh. her, and she shut me down. So, oh, well, unrequited love is—I <laughs> don't think that's a good reason to put her on the list. And she's got uh, she's yeah. got weird politics, uh-huh. man. Um, so, I, don't any, I don't have anything to add to that, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say you're uh, an indifferent to that one. So, sure. Unless you really want a ghost to win, then you can go with an absolute no. No, uh, I didn't. All right, all right. No, I didn't care that much. Mind fuck of the year. Um, I don't think it was quite as memorable this year as it has been in years past, but um, we had <laughs> um, the credit scene from Jazz Punk. Um, PT, basically for its existence and its gameplay. Um, and then the winner <laughs> actually was Potato Man Seeks the Truth. Uh, apparently, the ending of that game what? that is already weird is what I didn't even heard of that <laughs> came out the right hell? at the came out at the right at the end of the year. Like those words don't come out of my mouth that often. So yeah. Um, so okay. other, I mean, yeah, it was other uh, nominees. Transistor Goat Simulator was fought for for like all the devil stuff in that game. Um, jazz. Well, we got a Super Time Force. Um, for being a puzzle game and not an action game, um, <laughs> this actually got some some got towards the end. There was just playlists in the Master Chief Collection. One for just jumping between games and the physics shift, and two for just not working at all. Um, <laughs> uh, Mo- Monument Valley and the Fract Fract OSC. Um, yeah, this this just didn't seem to be a strong category this year. Uh. I'm guessing no one played the evil within. Right. Nope. 
the, it's probably in other territories. The name of this game fits this category perfectly. It was called Psycho Break. What the fuck? Everywhere else. Yeah. We don't get Biohazard and we don't get Psycho Break. I know, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw I saw like pictures of of like uh, posters and stuff up in like uh, I don't know Australian WalMarts or something. I don't know. Um, and they looked sweet. Um, that game has some even just like early on in that game, it's got crazy moments. Uh, some I'm of them is kind of fresh in my mind because I played it recently. But um, there's a there's a moment kind of early on when you're you're just like you're you're a cop with some other cops and you go investigate some something bad. So there's like been a something's gone. You're just like cruising and just chatting, and then you get a call on the radio to go to this like there's been a shooting or something. You go to a like a mint old school mental hospital, and there's like four thousand cop cars parked out front, and no one's there. And you go inside, and there's some murdered people and stuff, and you're like, "What?" It's, all of it's really dumb. It's great, and then a bunch of bad things happen. And as you leave, you're dr- it's like there's a scene where the characters are driving away in a car, and the entire center of the city, and you don't notice it at f- like really what's happening at first. I don't think, but it starts like rotating, and everyone else, <laughs> everything else stays the same. There's these moments where like buildings are shearing in half. And you see, like, the inside of them is it's like these things rotating, and you're like, I don't know. There's like, some crazy stuff that happens in that game. The whole thing is a complete mindfuck. So, oh, nice. I feel, uh, yeah, it feels like we missed the mark there. Like, even the guys yeah, that played through that, that, yeah, I think they were just so caught up in being disappointed by it, they didn't recognize the, the moments yeah. there. Hopefully. Yeah, I would, that, that would have been my Or you're crazy. Sure. So, that's a no, that's a no from Josh. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then, uh, kind of related these are there are a couple of these that started overlapping but best moment of the year so this is like best sequence or just best like singular isolated moment so i think the difference is it doesn't have to be a twist it's just the thing you remember that will be seared into your memory from a game from this year so we really liked uh the the beginning hitting the start button and dragon age inquisition the gravity of that situation as it went on um cool yeah the uh, the ending to The Last of Us Left Behind, the DLC, so that came out this year. I haven't played it. It's very... Uh, that's... Yeah. It's very, very solid. And the winner, um, and I asked them not to spoil this, but to come up with a, um, a description of it. So we'll just call it Equestrian Foreplay from South Park, The Stick of Truth. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That sounds awful. <laughs> um, oh, Let's see. Oh no! There's a twist. I got a bad taste in my mouth right now. <laughs> uh, Jazz Punk was um, also up in there. Up in there. Wolfenstein. Uh, we just said the uh, the trip you make. The trip you make in that game is uh, was nice. That was, uh, Oh, you're not spoiling that either. No, no. Uh, I had it spoiled okay. for me, so I'm not going to spoil it for others. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Go. Well, just can we just say like when you're playing that game, when you get to the safe house, go lie in the bed. Go oh, to sleep. Yeah, that was also yeah the nightmares. Yeah. Oh, that's not what you were talking about. No, no, I'm talking. I was actually talking about. Um, we thought, um, where the location of one of the Nazi bases was pretty cool. Oh yes, it was very cool. And yeah. how ca- and how kind of how how casually it is done, but it's also <laughs> awesome. So you know what? There are a lot of really that <laughs> the game man. That game goes to some cool places. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's neat. Um, um, how about the first time? Did you see someone show up in Shadow Mordor yep. that you thought you killed? The Nemesis stuff. Yeah. And then you're like, and then he says something to you that's actually pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Or my favorite, when a guy just shows up, clashes of swords with you, the camera zooms in on him, he just goes, ah! yep, and he starts that screaming. Was my my ah! my nemesis. I lost it. I've. <laughs> Holy shit! Like yep. what? The fuck? He does like because it does that um, you know the Brock Lesnar thing. Like, where he yep. goes, oh, total Brock Lesnar! <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> so <laughs> so my nemesis, my ultimate nemesis in this game, was one of those screaming characters. Except he was a archer, so he was he was like screaming at me from across the map, and it's just like oh <laughs> shit. So I actually I actually have a YouTube clip of that, but yeah, I I didn't get any backing with the Nemesis stuff, so um, I'm gonna put that as a no because I think that's what we uh, we both agree should have should have happened. But yeah. I still I thought the 
you don't net recognize it right at the beginning of Dragon Age Inquisition, but as you just keep thinking about it and just like the whole story, like it's because you hit the start button. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was <laughs> it really is because you can sit there forever <laughs> and it continues. Also, the longer you wait, the more people die, theoretically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because those two streams of people just yep. keep going. Yep, that's a good point. I'm glad you appreciate that. But but a no from Josh, because <laughs> yeah. Um, best looking game of the year. I was pissed off because I couldn't get Crossy Road in the finals. Um, finalists here were Child of Light and Mario Kart 8, and the winner was Alien Isolation. That's a good looking game. That's good. That also has some of the best. The, ooh, my only argument against that would be that they just completely recreated the movie sets. <laughs> but but their uh, their attention to detail, I think, also helps. Uh, absolutely. Yep. Ab- no, I'm I'm with you on that. Um. And then they were also pimping up just the androids and how creepy they are in that game too. So just some of the other atmosphere stuff beyond the consoles. Um, Let's see. Advanced Warfare, Inquisition, so, Second Son's Hands. I really was trying to push for his fingers, his like his the fidelity of his fingers. And Infamous yeah, hands. actually Infamous looked kind of good all around. Mm-hmm. Looked like, I thought that looked really good. What about... Great Theft Auto 5 was nominated for the record. So to me, that's the only game I played all year long where I would stop on a kind of a regular <laughs> basis and go, shit, look at that. Get in a helicopter at night and go up above the city on a clear night and look out at it. The way, the way they, they draw the, you know, they don't, uh, every game has like some pop in and all that kind of stuff. I don't really notice it so much with that game. They do a good job of that. Like making car, you see everything farther. That's the whole point of like the next gen version of it. But the way they at night draw the lights, Mm-hmm. From far, from like, like all the way across the city, and they do that kind of depth of field on it. Unbelievably gorgeous. But um, I also thought Destiny had moments. Yep, yep. When Man, like you yeah. pop onto like Mars or Venus, that and it's was, just like, or the Moon, even like, well, shoot. This it's hard good. to carve through people's negative reactions to that game, but you can't. Yeah, I like I like the art style in that game. Just like exactly, just the right. gear you pick up too, beyond Destiny skyboxes and the typical bungee stuff, yeah. but. Yeah. And, and and you know that game did have the best skyboxes <laughs> I've ever seen in a game, and yeah. for that has to count for something, right? Yeah. Let's because yep. uh, we've we've had good skyboxes since Doom. The, <laughs> the, 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 um, the when you're when you're in the tower, and the you know the giant basketball, um, mm-hmm. the magic basketball is floating there, and you see that city. Yeah. Um, the, also the huge amount of disappointment when you realize you can never see go see any of that stuff. <laughs> This kind of take it down a notch. Yeah. Um, just other things: Transistor, Vanishing of Ethan Carter, um, Transistor, Mercenary good. Kings. I forgot about that. Luftrausers, Threes. You don't like Threes? Uh, Monument Valley and what? Threes. Yeah, I like the little characters in that. Like it's just what so it, everything goes together so well. It's just I love it. Okay. Um, but yeah. Um, go back to Alien Isolation. Child of Light was um. I still I couldn't get behind that, but but I was glad Mario Kart Eight made it. I'm glad HD Nintendo is represented. Back, yeah, it looks good. You give your stamp of approval to Alien Isolation, or um, would you go with uh, some of the other ones oh, we mentioned? Oh boy! I mean, I I you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna just, okay. just let it go because uh, I could sit here. There's okay. Uh, there's too many. I couldn't pick out of my own favorites. I would <laughs> one. Too hard. Therefore, too hard. you have yours. All right. So you're going to pass on that category. <laughs> yeah, that's a pass. <laughs> so you'll get an even 20 out of 25. <laughs> All right. Early access or beta of the year. Um, runners up or Rim World and, and Broforce. The winner was Destiny. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wait, that's not a joke. No, no. no. I was okay. The, the actual alpha or the, the beta that when that when mm-hmm. they came out, we're not saying that that's an unfinished game still, and that it, that's right. we're just <laughs> judging the beta for yeah because that was really funny up until that moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh. Let's see what else. Crypt of Necrodancer. Really uh, liked the forest. Did you? Okay, I I couldn't. I was more making fun of it than enjoying it, but that's fair. 
I like that they had a co-op. Like that they're actually making significant changes to the game is kind of cool. Weird. Like what a weird, goofy game. Yep. But did kind of did some of all those. I, there's a million of those games. Mm. A million of them. And this one. Actually, if you kind of felt lost in the wilderness a little mm-hmm. bit, and it had the creepiest, <laughs> n- natives. like, native dudes. Those, oh, shit, they were creepiest. But, like, the, the way they moved and everything, oh, that, that, was, that was pretty neat. I'm not saying it should win anything, but that was pretty cool. What did you, what was your take on Starbound this year? Hmm. That was thought, one of our other so finalists. I played, yeah, I played a bunch of that. Um, it sounds like they turned it on towards the end of the year again with like their weekly or daily builds or something like that. Yeah, they so, they added more stuff and all that. Um, I don't think that game has this like just enough soul. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. The uh, long dark gang beasts. Means, um, gang beasts. Mighty number no. nine. Um. Those are the other other standouts. Evolve. Um, you actually had good luck with Evolve. I couldn't get into a game and yep. moved on and didn't care because I'll I'm getting the game anyway. So whatever. That was more my my take. But um, you okay with Destiny winning? Destiny's alpha filled me with so much hope. Yep. Okay. Uh, also, Gang Beasts. <laughs> I've, yeah, I'm okay with that. Watch out for that. Also, if you have four people, a couch, four controllers, and a PC hooked up to your TV, if you don't download that game... Mm. Okay. <laughs> we'll put... Dot, dot, dot. Murderize. What's the name of that company that makes... Uh, it's, uh, damn it, it's like... It's something loaf. Um, Brain loaf? Bone Beef loaf? loaf? Might be Bone loaf. loaf. That's it, Bone Loaf. Co-op game of the year is next. Um, it's actually, I think it's a down year for co-op games. Um, after uh, after a few a few strong ones. So, our okay. finalists were Borderlands the pre-sequel, Earth Defense Force twenty twenty five. Winner was Diablo three Reaper of Souls. We had a pretty memorable marathon through that story, and I happened to play with strangers and strange friends on multiple occasions this time because of the updates. So, um, um, what else we got here? That was a good try on that stuff. Uh, okay. it was wrong though. GTA five was okay. actually, <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. They didn't make the cut. Uh, Jackbox was actually mentioned. Oh, it had taken off because we did later decided that it wasn't really a co-op it's experience. It's not a co-op. Yeah. At least it's strong. Also, games. the only reason I'm throwing, I'm throwing GTA five out because you said Diablo. And that also was not, Double three Reaper Souls this year. Double three Reaper Souls. The expansion was yeah. Well, that's and, an expansion. Whatever. And, and ultimate, or ultimate Evil Edition had also expansion content. Come expansions are qual- expansions qualify. <laughs> okay, I'm sticking in there. Whatever. Oh, what? It's um, all wrong. GTA Five. Whatever. Hey, hey. GTA Five. I got Earth Defense Force to get. That's just, that's the farthest an Earth Defense Force game. Yeah, the game is. That was. Well. I think I feel like we had a good time with that. Yeah. It's coming to PS4. It's coming. To P- I will show what? back up on the PS4. It's coming to the PS4 in Japan. HD, higher frame rate. Oh my shit! No, no rumors on a North American release, but who cares? It's yeah. region free. We can get Japanese PSN accounts. All right, then we're then let's make that happen. Okay. Um, other nominees were uh, G- Gauntlet, Destiny, Titanfall, Plants vs Zombies, Garden Warfare. Hey, that Far Cry Four. I play a little bit of that on the couch. Yeah. It's good stuff. A Split screen. It's pretty fun. It's That's a awesome. fun little little tower defense kind sure. of shooter thing. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Far Cry four, do you say that? Yep. Yep. Um no one got deep enough to speak to Far Cry Four's co op though. Um That's the only reason I wouldn't argue for because I just haven't played yeah. co op yet. Same with Sunset Overdrive apparently has a pretty fun co op mode too. So um, Destiny's co op is fun. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. We, yeah, we had that because that's the only way to play. You you wanna yep. That was that yeah. was on the list as well. Also pretty frustrating that it's limited to three players <laughs> <laughs> and besides yeah. a few uh, strikes after you hit like 20 yeah. mobile game of the year this act we actually combined ds and vita with the phones and the tablets so keep that in mind sure uh finalists shovel knight crossy road winner hearthstone that is really really tough to argue 
um, before we started this podcast, uh, mm-hmm. I brought up to you that um, somebody in my household was playing a whole lot of Galaxy Trucker on an iPad. <laughs> yeah. And I, think- I also have played a bunch of that. And I want to say, I got to just throw in just a little shout out to that. Yeah. Um, it's a fantastic, fantastic City. board game. It's an even better game on tablet. And it, but it's the same. The best part about it is you have in the middle of the table this huge pile of little starship pieces <laughs> that are upside down. You can't see what they are. You have to flip them over, decide if you're going to place it on your ship or not. If you place it on your ship, it's permanent. Otherwise, you throw it in the pile face up and everyone, someone else can grab it. It's this mad dash thing. Mm. And um, it's you do that. They, they recreated that perfectly really? on, the, actually, on the tablet. And it's pretty neat. Is she playing? Are you guys, you play online with friends, or do you play just online with strangers? You can play local uh, pass oh. and play. Okay. They modified some bits of the game to so it can be turn based, sort of. Um, and then they have uh, uh, online, like real time play, and they yeah. have really good AI play as well. Uh, other nominees: Luftrausers, Wayward Souls, WWE Supercard. <laughs> no <laughs> threes. And Monument Valley. So it's the answer is Luftrausers. Luftrausers is pretty good. So are you going with a no on that? Mm-hmm. Or are you... shit, I that wait, go back. That's my ten minute game. <laughs> wait, let's see if you just let's see if you disagree or agree on that one. Hold on. Oh god, where's the quickie? Where's the quickie? <laughs> you agree? Oh, no. with... Wait, are you going Luftrausers over Crossy Road? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, can I go? Can I do that? Can I go back? Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. Oh, we're flexible. Okay, you're you're removing. You said Cross Road sucks. Loose loose browser is what you play when you gotta poop. Yes. Okay. Cro- and, and yeah, cross no Cross Roads is good. Loose browsers freaking <laughs> owns. <laughs> All right, so you're and that's that a no for mobile game of the year then too. Hearthstone versus yes. loose browsers. Okay. It's yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, that's unfortunate, but I respect your opinion, even though it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, local multiplayer game of the year. Bring out, bring out the Ben Guts here. This is this is the other one where we couldn't narrow down the finalists to just two. So we've got uh, uh, the Jackbox Collection. <laughs> You're gonna pimp the music too. <laughs> um, uh, finalist Jackbox. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, that kid's just so freaking good. It just uh, took way too long to do that. Jackbox. Jackbox. Yes. Nidhog. Mm, and Mario whoa. Kart 8. Nidhogg is on my list. Very high. The Nidhogg winner Nidhogg is very, very, very good. Of our local multiplayer game of the year is Sports Friends. Oh, shit. Oh. Shit. That was, a, that was a, You're shaking your head. I, so, all right. This, I have got a list. Uh, so, I actually ended up... I played a kind of a decent amount of like the couch co-op stuff. Um, mm-hmm. mostly with like fam, a mix of like family mm-hmm. and then a mix of some like family and friends and stuff like that. It was, it was kind of like a weird setup. So a lot of the times I couldn't go kind of too heavy into the, uh, you know, kind of more hardcore kind of games. Sure. Like Smash. I really enjoyed tower, tower fall. Mm-hmm. No, I, we Smash. were not calling tower fall a 2014. Um, okay. I guess. Did it, did it come out on PS3 last year? It was or in PC and stuff. Yep. Um, okay, so I was playing on you know new consoles, so that's fine. No, it was, um, Ouya, it was Ouya two thirteen, but it was the well, Ouya no, game. that doesn't count. <laughs> that was yeah, that was the qualifier. Want there. that? Um, fuck. So what are you going that's with? What are you, what, what are you trying to promote there? Are you trying to get Jackbox well, the top or Jack, Jackbox drawful specifically <laughs> out of Jackbox? Okay. Sure. D- uh, it's the hardest I laughed all year long. Okay. Uh, it's the most fun I had with like family probably like all year long. Uh, um, it, it it's the one that has like that has now jokes that some people sure. I know like we keep going back to. <laughs> There's like the it's like really dumb. Um, oh, it's Nidhog though. Nidhog's your winner. One. Okay. Nidhogg is the fuck that game is. You're taking brilliant. Nidhogg over Pole Pole Riders for the record. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Pole Riders and all that, but um, Nidhogg is almost perfect. It really uh, is. <laughs> competitive game. 
It really is. But it's a draw. Uh, the Jackbox is close. If more of the games in the Jackbox Party Pack were good, I, I just don't like. Like this got a couple of kind of stinkers, and I think, but uh, I'm sure most people like them. But um, Drawful isn't the whole package. It's Nidhog. It's no Nidhog sport, is sports friends not even in conversation right now. Uh, it, it, um, I don't love all the games in that package again i right. don't know part of it if it was like if we were sitting here saying super pole riders versus nidhogg <laughs> i would still go nidhogg nidhogg is almost it's just like it's i can't which i agree like i feel i feel like, like those are neck and nid. neck i'll give the edge to nidhogg but i love i love joust i love bari bari ball i love pole riders hakra i haven't gotten enough experience with but seems pretty fun so but yeah you know, with the, the, oh. yeah and I and actually I would have been surprised if Jack like Jackbox just didn't have enough people that had played it, but everybody that plays it, it's just kind of like a unanimous unanimous like I have mm-hmm. had yeah, it's you have stories to tell about your Jackbox yeah, games yeah, with yeah. people that don't usually play games. So yep. um, we're gonna try And that. really go play go play drawful with your friends that have a sense of humor that like to draw dicks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, didn't yeah, I don't know why I didn't predict that. That's where you're going with it, but um, should have been surprised. Um, <laughs> also, like people that are super creative and clever, oh, or, will make that game that much better too. Or people got, that just get frustrated because they can't draw, so they write out the words. They're they're ruiners. <laughs> and you don't play with them. Don't. <laughs> All right, I'm marking down for a no on that category. I feel I feel like we yeah. really disappointed you there. I that's a, that's a bummer. Uh, next up is indie developer of the year. Um, some of our caveats Ooh. here are you have to release a game this year and um, kind of your extracurricular activities also count into uh, into this. So okay. you could get away with just releasing the most awesome game and that makes you awesome, but there may be other things going on here too. So our finalists are Servo LLC, who are the guys behind Threes, which I think is a really funny name because it's really just a couple dudes. Um, us two, the developers of Monument Valley, and then our winner was Deconstruct Team for Gods Will Be Watching. We like how they stuck to their guns and added a ton of extra difficulty modes after people didn't like their game and but still stuck to their guns. Really? Yep. Yeah. Um, Monument Valley, we kind of like that those guys have been kind of tackling the whole app pricing conversation and got some shit for the DLC. Um, being priced um, for money, <laughs> apparently upset some people, and uh, but not given into the free to play stuff, and then threes for um, kind of maintaining among all their clones. Okay, yeah. What else would you like to throw out a, there? I actually, I mean, I don't have a lot of indie games on my list this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I probably had more to do with how much time I had to play games. I played a lot more tabletop stuff. Sure. This year, um, and uh, so you know, it'd be like I kind of pick to choose my games a little more carefully, I guess. But um, I, you didn't say Yacht Club. Yacht Club wasn't one of the last ones cut. So. Um, it's funny that people kind of also just when you make a retro game, they kind of write it off, but their dedication to their craft was noted. Anyone that wrote that game off was being like just dismissive and sure. for no good reason because that game was one of the like yeah like if that came out on the NES <laughs> it would be, be one of the most like memorable it was games the, it, it, you'd be like oh man man remember like on Legend of Zelda was really good and Mega Man 2 was cool you know it had the good music and stuff but probably Shovel Knight's my favorite game on the <laughs> NES yep, totally. not that you could make that on the NES but it God, I, I don't know. I, it walks a fine line. It took, mm-hmm. I know there's a million of these games, and mm-hmm. we love. We know we love them, but well, like this one was special. I I agree wholeheartedly. It's hard for a game to communicate that. Like unless you are like us and want to go find out that backstory, it doesn't necessarily come across yeah. uh, in the game. And that's so. Uh, I mean, I mean, honestly, you could say that about any of these stories, though. You just play threes, just play Gods Will Be Watching, and whatever. But um, mm-hmm. I don't know. I liked uh, I liked deconstruct team stick, sticking to their craft a bit, but uh, would you agree with that sentiment, or would you bump up yacht club? 
I was also a Yacht Club's first game, I found out, after the fact. Yeah, w- and right. And I uh, actually was just checking that myself because I thought that was the case. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I think that's all that, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'd give it a Yacht Club because I think Shovel Knight is the, right. is the like maybe the best indie game this year. I think that would have been a worthwhile argument to have. Um, Music of the year. Oh. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a little bitter about this category. I I I seriously I I went out of my way to avoid nominating World of Warcraft in like everything because I could find an excuse <laughs> to do it. I really like. I just want to say I really enjoy the music that they added for Warlords of Draenor. Like really, like in game music in-game, or like the, in- the menu and the cutscene and all that. In game music during during Draenor content. Like where you're at your garrison and you're going out in th- into that con- that that continent and mm-hmm. the intro stuff to that, I just I don't know I don't know if it's this nostalgic thing, but it is they continue to bring it on their high quality orchestral fantasy RPG music. Sure. But yeah. uh, it just that's cool. Like I said, other mm-hmm. expansions for this game haven't stood out. This one for whatever reason did. I got shut down because you can't say that World of Warcraft in the room with those with. <laughs> anybody else so uh, yeah it's not just our that. it's not just our guys it's it's yeah so anyway uh finalists for music of the air were destiny um and dragon age inquisition mm-hmm. uh, the winner was transistor good yeah yeah good sound uh gosh there are two games this year that i can think of that uh, that I played, you know, I'm, uh-huh. there, I'm sure there was other ones, whatever theater rhythm or some shit where, where, but where you, you can like through the gameplay affect the music, I guess. Mm-hmm. And that is transistor had a button that you hold <laughs> down to sing, which was great. Um, in general, that music was really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, uh, Oh gosh, I'm trying to, man, that was really good. I'm trying to picture it in my head, actually, some of this music. Can you just hum a little bit for me so I can just get back there? Just... Okay, okay. Now, Luft Rousers? Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it, but it's it's grungy, dirty. Dirty, dirty. Electronic mm. beautifulness. And, um, and, uh, you it's not how you wait okay let me remember this so it's not how you play that affects it it's what you choose parts for your ship that changes the music yes uh, yes yes there's different little remixes based on what ship you have there's a that like the title screen whatever you know is cool and then you get playing and it goes it starts out like a driving kind of beat and as it gets going when it hits like the the, the like the crescendo of that you if you don't get pumped, like you're in the middle of a, one of the hardest games. Like that game is super, that is, it is really tough. Also, Luft Rousers for a hard game that beats the shit out of me. I changed my mind. It's not Shovel Knight, it's Luft Rousers. I think but you still, still disagree. Still so, yeah, okay. Um, Luft Rousers had a, uh, a flow to it. You get into a groove. Very Defender like. Almost had a little bit of joust in there, oh, like sure. old sure. school joust. I felt like that same thing, you know. Or just, or I'm like, I get, I like going at like a high speed and just kind of making my runs and whatever. But then you have that, and you get in those grooves, and when the music starts getting like, you know, you're just at any moment you're just gonna get your ass kicked, and then the music kicks in, and it gets so fucking epic. That's your vote. Also, Destiny had really, <laughs> yeah. really good music. And so you with two of our three, me. you just don't agree with our winner, and we missed missed the opportunity on Luke Rousers. Yeah, Luke Rousers was right. super good. It was also just like one track, one one yeah, arra- it's, it's one arrangement cool. with forty different tracks. If you yep. think like if you're like looking like a, you know, whatever you call like the music equivalent of a nonlinear editor, <laughs> like you know, like yeah. a million tracks. Like that's how they did it. And they turn them on and off depending it's, on. Yeah, I yeah. didn't realize it until somebody broke it, broke it down. But that was it's also funny to just go out and just listen to the straight up soundtrack, knowing that that's how it works. <laughs> oh um, yeah, it, brilliant. Uh, we, also, we also gave shout outs to Shovel Knight, pretty good chip tunes. Um, Smash Brothers, mm-hmm. just for its fucking 
massive amount of classic music. Um, Valiant Hearts, um, <laughs> Wolfenst- Wolfenstein, actually, Coop and I kind of enjoyed a few of the tracks in that game. Not the credits track. Mm-hmm. That probably broke it because the credits are awful. Um, the Wolf oh. Among Us with kind of its 80s ness. Uh, yeah. So, and Sun- Sunset Overdrive for sure. sticking to the themes. I'm trying to think if there's like one really cool, like, like last year, what did we give this to? Do you remember? Last year, was, we went to Tiny Barbarian soundtrack from Jeff Ball. Was Bioshock Infinite last year? Yes. The the basement I, I, scene. I want to say that got. A, I want to say that got in the Elizabeth. finals. I want to say that got in the finals. That was the best. Can we just make that this year then? Because okay. like, holy right. shit, we'll get, we'll, oh my, we'll give Troy. Was, we'll give Troy an award this year just just for that. Those, jo- those Josh's two honorary. actually sat in a room with uh like they're in the in, they did in it the credits well. of that game they, they show well. that they show them recording that yeah. and like Ken Levine going like still like stop that's too good like you're too good. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> that was gore- that was just beautiful. Beautiful scene. Nice job, Troy. You can win music at the year 2014. I love from, Troy from Josh. so much. And then he grew a beard and I'm like I have a beard, you have a beard, we should have a beard together. We should have beards together. <laughs> Story of the year. <laughs> Story of the year finalists: Last of Us, Left Behind, Wolfenstein, The New Order, and the winner was South Park: The Stick of Truth. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. this is best writing, right? Yeah, it's really narrative, what we're yeah, about. just narrative. Right, right, best writing. Um, whoo, boy! Yeah, let's see what other we had. Jazz punk in there. Wolf Among Us. How would you think of Dragon Ages? I didn't give a Writing. shit, so it didn't make it far for me. I, I like the political struggle in that game, but the details I don't care about. Like it's just I so I haven't gotten that far into it yet. Yeah. But so far Far Cry Four's right. I got a, really th- real solid. That's like the We couldn't solid. determine if people just liked it because Far Cry Threes was so bad. But nah, I'm not, I wasn't even thinking about Far Cry Three playing. Mm. The the like Pagan Man is great. Mm. Main character seems cool and all. There's a scene, and again, I know it's like I haven't played the whole thing, therefore I'm not going to argue it. But I want to point out there's a like a scene like right at the beginning, after you meet Pagan Man, you're like kind of a, like a dinner guest, mm. and then as you walk out of your own volition, there's a scene where you walk by a room where that other that American dude Herc? is torturing. No, not Herc. No, it's a different guy. Okay. He's torturing someone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? No, I, I haven't played. Know, I can't so. remember the character's name. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, it's, this is like a little side thing. I just happen to stop and watch. Yeah. There's a scene where this guy. I, mean, I like, see some torture going on. I gotta stop and see torturing what's going on. someone, and he's like, uh, he's like some American mercenary guy, and he's talking. To, he's talking to this guy, trying to get him to talk or whatever. But he's sitting there and he's talking about like, um, he, 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 whatever, trying to get him to yap, and then he gets a phone call, and he's talking like to his wife. And or something, and he's just like kind of being like real sweet, normal, whatever. And he goes like right, right back to like, <laughs> to like zapping this guy. Uh, it's just like some of that stuff is like really smart. Um, but you know, haven't done the whole thing, so I'm not gonna argue it. It's uh, Destiny, right? Yeah. Uh, the grimoire, the grimoire entries are brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Might be. I don't. Who knows? Um, I never went back uh, well, to read it. I, I probably could get into that stuff. You, what, uh, I kind of said it earlier. I think I voiced my opinion on Wolfenstein's characters and story. Yeah. But I, what did you? How did you feel about it? Did you argue for that at all? Yeah, but I didn't finish South Park. I only played through, you know, a quarter of the game, so I couldn't. I couldn't shut them down. They were all pretty, pretty pumped up about how complete that story was and just how much fun they had. And um, so, I mean, for it to. But I think Wolfenstein was kind of a, a close second there, uh, just because. So, so Matt, Matt and Trey Parker wrote, or uh, yeah, Matt and Trey Parker, they wrote that, right? Yep, yep. So that's a little unfair, don't you think? <laughs> 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 it's like here's some video game writer dudes from yep. what's Starbreeze or whoever the hell. Wait, wait no, not them. Machine, Machine that game? games. Machine games. I think sorry. it is X Starbreeze guys though. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have the, some like video game writer dudes versus yeah. some dudes who, who like actually ga- write for a video living. game like story of the um, year accomplishment. The, the, story accomplishment of the year might be Wolfenstein. Right. For not only are they going up against that. But they're trying to make us give a shit about Wolfenstein. <laughs> okay, and first of all, works. here's here's your your main character's name, B.J. Blaskowitz. 
<laughs> just like his name. His name is literally like Should've blow job of guns or something. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm assuming that's like German for guns. I don't know. Yeah, like the dude, like you, blow job explosion. I think that is his name. Is that's blow- it. That's what I. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a meathead, and I so they they broke him down very quickly. In yeah, that they game. did. They did a great job with that. Like the, I think the story pacing in that is fantastic. Like they wrote all the characters really well. You gave a shit about BJ. They had a good love story. They had some that scene where he's. They wrote a scene in that where he's uh, uh, like what? Oh man, he's in the mental. I don't want to. Uh, right, shit, I want to yeah. spoil everything. Right. He's in. BJ uh, goes to a hospital. Mm-hmm. And there's a scene where um, there's like a time lapse, and there's they introduce characters like in this like scene, basically through a cutscene. By the end of it, they've kind of they've advanced a relationship yep. in like five minutes, and suddenly you give a shit. <laughs> Fucking wolf is And like, how do you do that in a video game? Like, no one does that. That's the kind of shit you pull off on TV or movies or something. Yep. That was really impressive. Marking you down for a no because just for just to give Wolfenstein some more points because fuck yeah, Wolfenstein. Goddamn. goddamn. All right, last two here. Indie game of the year. You'll notice we got rid of our messy downloadable co- games under fifteen dollars types of uh, uh, categories there. So just indie game. I forgot about this. So our finalists were Shovel Knight and Banished. Our winner was Sports Friends. <sighs> Nidhogg. <laughs> it got uh, got nominated. Got nominated. Um, uh, sh- ooh, yeah, Shovel Knight. Browsers, Jazz Punk. Hey, uh, Jazz Punk like got like no. Jazz Punk got like no love from us, man. I, I, I had I played it, maybe I would say, but You'd love can, it. can You'd I? Love it. Can I? Mm-hmm. Just honorable mention mm-hmm. to NES Remix Two. Oh no, shit! All right, I'll give it that shot. I didn't play it because get through the was first Remix One shit? levels of each game. Was Remix one yeah, shit? Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't I didn't give a shit about the game selection. And this one though, you've got like actual like some pretty freaking good games. Um, it's got Mario Brothers uh, two and uh, uh, Kirby, Kirby's Adventure, whatever. Like you know, the first Kirby game, Punch Out's in there, Kid Icarus, a bunch yeah. of fun stuff. Uh, uh, so and they oh and they have like an unlockable version called like Super Luigi Brothers. It's Super Mario one. You play as Luigi, and th- all the stages are in reverse. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. simple, but just like a cool thing. So here's the whole. Here it is. Cool. There's a game. It's like in there. Um, I thought it was really neat. It'd get past the first like three or four stages of each game because they're mm-hmm. like made for like a two year old. And then <laughs> sudden, sure. Then, but then like it kind of turns up the heat a little bit, and you realize like, oh, man, these games were not the easiest thing in the world. It made me want to go play like all of those games though. Uh, and uh, yeah, Doctor Mario was in there. Like yeah. the game selection was really good. That was fun. I'll have to get that shot. Yeah, I completely wrote that off. So glad you said something. Um, yeah. yeah, we were pretty hyped about the total package in Sports Friends. Got a lot of. And there are multiple Johan Sebastian Joust fans this yeah. year. I that's what I did when I went out to Vegas to play with Cole and Kenny, who happened to also mm-hmm. be influential on on our voting. So um, it's kind of the core of where that comes from. Um, so I'm assuming you're a no. And you're pushing for Shovel Knight. Am I correct? It's yeah. I think it's just got to probably be Shovel Knight. Yeah. Any other? Oh, I mean, you threw out NES Remix too. So. Um, yeah, yeah, and you know, Nidhogg's on there. Yeah, for sure. Nidhogg's ja- the Jackbox Party Pack also is kind of in there too, yeah, but that's, that's also fair. it's like a, I don't know, it's a little bit more. Expensive I think that's maybe. that's the thing I I've come out of this. I have to I have to Far Cry Four and I have to I have to finish South Park. I I have to Far Cry Four and I have to play some Jackbox. Which I think we're gonna play some Jackbox in the office this week, so we'll hopefully that'll happen. So it's like uh, eight people playing Drawful. <laughs> we can do that. Got enough devices. I love that you just yeah use your six hundred tablet phone. if you have it. Right. If you have it, <laughs> instead or just, of if buying one of those people that eight fifty dollar controllers, use your six hundred dollar device that you already have. <laughs> That's right. Use the gigantic iPhone that is keeping you from sitting up straight. It's like the new, like old guy's wallet. You put it in your back pocket, and then you can't sit on it normal. All right, here we go. Game of the year. Uh, do you expect to be? Wait, 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 wait. This is this is category twenty six already. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
I take back that some of the things I said that went really fast. Yeah, yeah. Forty's a lot though. We can, we can agree. Yeah, it is. Forty is too many. <laughs> so before I announce these, do you think you'll be based on our prior track record? Are you going to be happy with how this turns out or unhappy? Un, I'll be unhappy. Okay. Because I know you didn't give it to Marvel Heroes 2015. Okay. Yep. That's fair. We did not give it to Marvel Heroes no, 2015. No. I actually, I don't know what I'm. Yeah. I don't know. I honestly, you know what? I thought you guys were going to say Shadow of Mordor, and I now I don't think that you did. Okay. I think. Wait, could you want me to guess it before you sure, say? Sure. Sure. Wait, can you give can, what? Can you give me the nominees, and then I'll without telling me which one. You want our final five? Yeah, please. All right. Uh, we've got in no particular order. Far Cry Four, Hearthstone, Wolfenstein, Shadow of Mordor, Alien Isolation. Those are our final five. You Who did won? Give it, to Shadow of Mordor. it was Shadow of Mordor. It was Wolfenstein. You won? No way! You can. <laughs> what? Coop, Coop was steadfast, so I can give you my my top three. <laughs> my top three were I gave it to Shadow of Mordor for my my overall, um, and then Wolfenstein was number two. Hearthstone was number three. We had some Hearthstone fans. Um, wow. We had a. Couple hard, wow, hard, hard ons for Far Cry Four. Um, the hardest of hard ones. It did, it came down to Wolfenstein and Mordor, and it was it was the same debate I had in my head when I chose Mordor, yeah. which was um, you got Wolfenstein, which is total package, versus Mordor, which is standout feature. Um, and I just Mordor will be seared in my brain for so long, but I'm not ups- like, but it was so close. Like I was swapping between all three of mine all week. So I w I couldn't shoot down Wolfenstein, but everybody else, uh, kind of went with Wolfenstein. I had, a, I had a really good time playing shadows of Mordor. Like it was, I'm like, yeah, the, the combat's really fun and the story is serviceable and the world is fine. Yes. The Nemesis system was awesome. Yes, it was. You're right. It was not a total package, and I hope the team gets to do another game because that game, when it comes out, is here's, going to be the, here's the like scary Arkham thing. City, and it's going to own. Here's the scary thing: is they probably didn't even go as far with that Nemesis system as they wanted. Like, yeah, let, a, let alone sure. all the other stuff around it that was um, average to pretty good. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's still. As far as the traversal and exploration side, or, or I guess the traversal side of open world action games, it did that as good and better than everybody else in the in the playing field. Um, mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, you you don't have to convince me. Like Shadow of Mortar was my pick, but uh, Wolfenstein's just complete package and like lack of. I always said it had a it it had a a lack of a glaring flaw. I th- still think it was missing its standout moment or standout like it, it's just the thing you can hang your hat on with it like i just kind of felt that way a lot about a lot of games in 2014 yeah but but it was just the amount of surprise from that game and how enjoyable it is to play and the fact that that story is so good mm-hmm. and you fucking give a shit about bj blaskowitz i'm i'm not upset at all that wolfenstein the new order took it <sighs> shit there were oh, man they, there were so there were I feel like there were a bunch of games this year that came out that were good games that just were really deficient in one area or something like yeah. that. And and Wolfenstein's deficiency is that it was a like the actual act the shooting and the action were uh, stuck in time in a lot of ways. And I I don't I it was fine and it was fun. And they did at least they did enough with it so you could have a good time with whatever play style that you preferred in those kinds of games. But it was a certain kind of game, and with most of the gameplay. However, was we've been gushing about the story and the characters, but yeah, uh, we kind of talked about it a little bit earlier um, the locales you go to uh, and like just overall kind of level design. Oh yeah, um, I thought I mean, it was like pretty good. I, you felt like you had options and a lot of levels, even though the, you didn't the, have to go everywhere. Yeah, we didn't talk about that at all, but the pacing of the gameplay in that, just like how they broke yeah. up every, I mean, it's, it's, the levels are so well done. They're just like, I mean, this is the, it is the template for 
first person. I like. I felt bad because I didn't, you know, get through. I don't feel bad for not getting through Advanced Warfare, but at the same time, I don't really know what Call of Duty's doing in its single player realm. But, um, but Wolfenstein was just it was it was just so well paced, kept my attention. It kept my attention, and like, also, it, what I liked is it gave you the choice of doing stealth or going in guns blazing. Like mm-hmm. as far as the off, yeah, the, no, off, yeah. the officer stuff. So, you know, at times I would sneak around, and at times I would just say I. would I dual wield and say fuck it and let's 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 blow up some the, robots. There's an underground train station level <sighs> in that game where you can you can take that level, you can sneak through that whole thing and just be shanking everyone. Um or you can go in kind of guns blazing. And when you get to the you finally get through it and you're like, Okay, here we go and then these train cars, there's some crates open up and terrible things come out <laughs> and you then you're like, Oh, God, now what? You get there's a lot of combat puzzles mm-hmm. for a game that is like a, it's very, well, Wolfenstein-y kind of, yeah. you know, you're, you you do wield any gun in the game like oh, that, God, a, a game so that lets good. you do that. You you think like, well, they kind of their mm-hmm. their actual um, enemy and level design is going to have to be kind of stuck in a certain way, and and they got around that. So uh, I mean, I think they define that in the first two levels because. When I first tried to play the game, I got stuck in the trenches, like in that first level, and it's really, it's actually kind of hard. But and at that point, I was like, man, this game is just going to be balls to the wall, dual wielding, sprinting through this, gunning <laughs> down dudes, yeah. and then you get to the castle in the second stage, and you kind of figure out, hey, if I take some time with these officers, I can make my life a little bit easier. But you, oh man, it, it and and from there on out, it just it it does it throws combat puzzles at you and a really subtle way that is another thing of, I can't believe they did that in a Wolfenstein game. And, um, yeah, there, so that was there, it had so many memorable moments. Yeah. On the train, when you're sitting across from those two Germans, from Frau, Oh, Frau. And there's the little, the, the, they play that little game with you. <laughs> that was, in, that was intense. Mm-hmm. There's the the cool. I thought like the like the bridge when the dude drops you in on on the, oh, that sure. bridge was cool. I, and I liked the the mm, I don't want to I don't sure. know. Are we spoiling locations? Is that a, nah? Do we give a shit. Yeah. Like this, go going to you go to space, mm-hmm. and then it goes like and then you get like the weird like uh, the, the underwater shit like crazy. There's just like so much weird. I think I took a so screenshot cool and I was at, and I said. What I said, Bioshock Wolfenstein. <laughs> at one point. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bioshock, uh, Bioshock Wolfenstein Tomb Raider, because it actually yep. gave me some. And then it goes weird, and then you're like, you're into this weird, like, uh, uh, I know, I, I remember at some point, think, seeing something and going like, oh man, they're going to the weird mythology from the um, Alias or something, like the revolt. Re- what was that? The the what was the, the old like the like the, the designer that made like the old, the old weird crap in that show. Um, Anyways, I guess you didn't watch that. Um, no. It's a weeded show. But then you also hang out in a concentration camp, and that's fucking fucked up. God, there's so <laughs> much. It's fucking weird. There's yeah. so much cool stuff. And then, like, then the next moment, you're like hunting for like a like a man child's toys or something. Like, what the hell? Yeah. I'm yeah. like looking for like uh, for like a uh, for like. And then you're having nightmares. Could, oh man, now this is so. Did much you win? Did you win your nightmares? Yeah, of course. Okay, and, and so, I found all the secrets. Cool, cool. So I assume that's a <laughs> yes. That's a yes from you. Fuck yeah, Wolfenstein's mm-hmm. great. Was there anything you wanted to see in the top five? That uh, it, I, it's hard for me to argue it because of it really seen before. But GTA Five okay. on PS4 was the most the most fun game. I had all year. Okay. I think but shovel shovel night was also close. Count. I know that's a. That's also yeah. Well. Sh- Shelf Knight was just was right. freaking fantastic, and I bought it on three platforms now. <laughs> so it's the game I bought the most. What is the game from 2014 that you want to go play right now? What are my choices? Just anything. Uh, I, I'm fine. Last of Us Remastered. All right. Nice. It's I I've got it downloaded. And it's on so my I, list. It's so I I I was excited for that game when it came out. And I played through that first that opening section. And I was like, "Oh, this game is awesome! I don't want to yeah. do this. I don't want to do this to myself again." <laughs> so I, I, I'm trying to wait. Uh, it was 
when Remastered was coming out, I'm like, yeah, I'm, like I don't pre-order games a lot these days, um, but that was one I knew what I was going to get. So, and I want to reward that because that game was so so good. So, okay, here's you know I'm gonna I'll get that, but it was still fresh in my mind. But I'm I'm kind of to the point now where I'm ready because that it's a enough of enough of the story is faded. Mm-hmm. Yep. So somebody I, I, I recommended it to a couple people recently, and I was talking to them about it, <sighs> and they started mentioning scenes, and I was having trouble remembering details about them. That means it's time to play it again. I hope that they and I don't know if they did this. I want them to give you an option to play left behind in the middle of it, like where it needs to fit, like story wise. Oh, uh, it's not a prequel. I thought it was like a. No, it's in the before. middle. It's in the middle. Oh, oh, okay, it is. Content is prequel, but where it makes sense in this overall timeline, the story, like mm-hmm. how they would tell the narrative, it's better in a flashback that occurs at a certain time. Okay. So, and I think they could complete some stuff there with that that moment. So, uh, well, when would you recommend that I play it, knowing that I'll probably play the game, the full game proper again soon? Uh, I believe I could be wrong. I think it's around the winter. It's a, either right at the beginning of winter or, um. Yeah, it's right around there. It's right around the winter part. Okay. Um, okay. So I'll yes. stop. I would say before, that come back. <laughs> yes. I'd say before you like right after winter hits, that's when you play it. I think after Nolan North is introduced. Yes, but before you know the extent of Nolan North. Mm, to his northiness. <laughs> yes. So, all right. <laughs> Josh, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for jumping in here and recapping yeah, this with me. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, uh, yeah, that was that was a good time. You guys think, didn't do quite as bad as I thought you did. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Well, let's uh, uh, let's see what the, the the tally is here. Hold on, let's uh, <laughs> okay. let's see what we did here. You know what? I just want to say overall, I know a lot of people were disappointed by how many games got pushed out of this year, but it was fine. It was a fine year for games. There were plenty of games that we had plenty of fun. However, yeah. 2015 is yeah. going to own bones. Hopefully, yeah. I think uh, it it just didn't ha- it just didn't have that showstopper. That was the, that was the only thing twenty fourteen was missing. Missing. It still had it's pre- it had its, it has it had its nine point fives. It just didn't have its ten. So does that make sense? Sure, sure. <laughs> eh. But that's okay. Witcher three is coming uh, soon. Is it to remedy that? <laughs> May. Well, that's not that far away. Is that right? <laughs> right now I've got... Let me double check this number. So right, the first time I went through this, I said, you agree with 10 of our 26. So, <laughs> Which is actually better than I thought I expected. So, one, two, Well, that's just... Three, come on. I'm not a dick. Five. I just... I mean... I don't, everyone's got... Whatever. I just... Eight, my opinions are my own. Nine. But I feel like you and I agreed... 10. More times yeah. than I agreed I, with the group. I, um, I felt really good this year from the variety that we had in our individual lists, our, our games games of the year lists from our individual writers, mm-hmm. and then coming together as a group, and I did not stand in the way of some of my, uh, uh, of some of the opinions like I have in previous years, but also it was because it came down to a couple games that I can't, I can't speak in detail to Alien Isolation, Far Cry 4, or South Park. So yeah. a lot of those battles I had to be, I had, had to go with the group consensus and kind of take their take their word for it. Uh, there's some guys I trust in there, so it's fine. But yeah, so you agreed with ten of our twenty six. So okay, <laughs> that's that probably up. that's probably a good thing that my my that I'm not the one in charge of. This nah, I, I think I think that's <laughs> that's fun a fun way to kind of conclude this. So it's been it's been a long week at the Grammys. We hope you guys enjoyed our coverage. We had a lot of fun uh, talking through this stuff and recapping it. So uh, for horrible night.com uh, I'm Justin Lacey. Thanks again to Josh Lee and uh, our online, our, our live crew of let's see, Jordan Cole, Aaron, Jason, Justin Gifford and Coop. Uh, thanks everybody for cool. all, all your help there and horrible night. We'll be back again uh, with more games in 2015. We'll see you then.